praying time now. We're going to be thanking God again for his wondrous gift of the Saviour. But we're also going to be remembering that um, this festive season isn't always a time of great joy for everybody. So um, if it was a time for you, or still is a time for you, where things aren't quite right in your life, whether you're a little boy or a little girl, an older person, and things aren't right, and you get to Christmas and you think, oh my goodness, it's not meant to be like this. We've got that time in our prayer time where you can press the pause button and you can just whisper to Jesus the things that are on your heart that aren't meant for any other ears but his. And you can be very, very sure that you have his full attention and his ear bent towards you. So, let's pray. Our loving Father, we are rejoicing because we know that the gift of our Saviour was a gift that we all needed, a gift that we still need, a gift that we'll always need. We recognise the high cost of that gift. We recognise that without the Saviour, we were lost. But yet he, a king, humbled himself and came down to be a little baby, a helpless little baby, for our sakes. We are so blessed. And as we press the pause button now, we just bring to you anything that's on our hearts that we just can't cope with anybody else listening to. So we bring that to you now. And then we continue loving Father in prayer. We thank you for the joy of yesterday and of the lead up to yesterday and the joy that will continue to go on. But we're also aware that for families such as those in that town in Tasmania, for others who have been recently bereaved, for those who have been persecuted. There are many, Lord, that simply can't celebrate Christmas in the way that they'd like to, and our hearts go out to them. We know, Lord, that you, and only you, can bring them the peace, the comfort, the healing that they need and even joy in spite of the pain. We can't do it, but you can. And we just lift each one of them up to you. Father, we ask that as we continue to celebrate, you will make us more, more and more sensitive to the needs of those who just are struggling we find that they can't manage to celebrate. Lord, help us. Help us to pray, to listen, to hug if we're about, to be there, to do whatever you lead us to do, to help those, to be Jesus to those who right now need human touch in their lives. But we go ahead in our celebration today. We thank you, Jesus, 
that you are everything we need. You are the lot of the world. We thank you. And as we continue to worship you now, we look for you to bless us. We look to you to lead us, to teach us, and yes, to challenge us. Because you are our God. Thank you. Amen.